What is up everyone? Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to safely remove and reinstall your graphics card. So this video is for uh, people out there that uh, this will be their first time opening up their PC. So the reason you're gonna be removing your graphics card is if uh, you're upgrading, you're troubleshooting, or you're cleaning your graphics card. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to safely do that. First, power down your computer completely. All right, so once your computer is powered off, you wanna go ahead and turn the switch to the off position on your power supply, and then you wanna disconnect your power supply. Now you should be safe to open your case and remove your GPU. Okay, so now that your power supply is disconnected and switched off, now you're gonna have to remove your side panel. This will give you access to your graphics card and any other components that you wanna troubleshoot, upgrade, or replace. So for me, there's two screws. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove mine. Awesome, so the screws are off. Most cases, uh, your side panel, you have to slide it back. So backwards towards the back of the PC, you just slide it back. For this case, I actually have to push it outwards like a door and then push out and then it comes off. Okay, so now we can see our graphics card. So this here is your graphics card. It's, it's usually always installed horizontally on your case. So for my computer, I have a Zotac graphics card and it's very simple to remove. It's simply held by screws here and a clip on the board. Okay, so before you touch any internal components, you wanna make sure you ground yourself to prevent static discharge. Any anti-static wristband or will be your friend here, uh, but if you don't have one, touch the metal parts of the of the case to discharge any built up static. Usually I like to keep a hand on the case while I touch the components. Um, you don't have to do that all the time, but as long as you keep touching the case now and then, you should be fine. So let's go ahead and uninstall this graphics card. First thing, you wanna unplug the power cables. These are being held by a clip at the bottom. Now, not all cards are the same. Sometimes the clips will be on top and then you can just push down and unclip. Uh, for this card, the clips are at the bottom, so I have to, I gotta push the clip and then push out. So from the bottom, like so. Let me go ahead and show you how some uh, graphics cards have their uh, power cables installed. Some of them have it installed like this, so the clip is on top, so it goes like that, and you push the clip, and then you push it out. For this card, they're upside down. I don't know why, but they're upside down. I guess it looks better, you get to see the AVJ logo. That's the basic you know, power connector. Newer graphics cards have a single uh, connector that connect to, to these, um, but I don't have that. It should be the same, just a clip, push out, and that disconnects the power. Now what you wanna do is you remove a screw here. So depending on how big your graphics card, there's either gonna be two or three screws being used to hold your graphics card. Uh, for me, this little tiny one only has one screw holding the back bracket here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew this. Now we just have to push that clip in the back here. So this clip right here, this clip is holding uh, the graphics card in um, all we want to do is push it inwards like so so the clip is pushed inwards and then we can grab our graphic card while you hold the case so I'm just gonna hold the top here I'm gonna grab the graphics card and then I'm gonna wiggle it until it comes out and it was that simple the graphics card is out now that this is out you can do what you want with this if you want to clean it replace it your troubleshooting or your upgrading Whatever it is, your graphics card is out. Um, if you're upgrading, just make sure that your power supply has uh, enough power connectors to power your graphics card. Also make sure that you have enough room for your graphics card. A lot of graphics cards are huge and they won't fit on your case. Um, now let's go ahead and install the graphics card. So let's say I upgraded or replaced mine. I'm gonna do it slowly. You don't wanna go too fast here. The PCIe slot go in. Then you just wanna push firmly here. Bam, it's already clipped in. Cool, so the graphics card is now installed. We just wanna do everything in reverse now. You wanna put in your screw, then you wanna, uh, you wanna plug in the power connector, and that's it. That is how you uninstall and reinstall your, power, your, your graphics card. So once again, if you're replacing, upgrading, troubleshooting, whatever it is, that's how you do it for this. Okay, so I showed you how to remove the graphics card on the first computer. That computer had older hardware 
this is newer hardware here it's gonna be the same um, so depending on the case it's gonna be the same there's two screws holding the graphics card uh, back plate here and there's a clip right there and you just gotta unplug your power cables and you're gonna do the same thing push out um, so if you have like a higher end motherboard or like mid to high end um, like this Asus there's actually a button right here that little button right there if you can see that button right there right there little let's see right PCIe slot release right there that will actually release the clip that's holding the graphics card because sometimes you can't even get to that clip all the way in the back um, so they give you that so if you have a board like that you just push that button and it releases that clip and then all you have to do is unscrew your unscrew the back plate here remove your power cable unplug that and then wiggle it out and that's it hopefully this, this helps anybody that uh, was looking into you know working on their computer hopefully this gives you uh, the push to actually get uh, inside your computer and start upgrading repairing you know stuff like that um, yes yeah, so yeah if you have any questions let me know um, if this was helpful uh, leave a like if it wasn't dislike um, if uh, there was something I missed, please let me know. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.